Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have um, some more recalls to bring to you, thanks to Tessa. Thank you, Tessa, for keeping us up to date on things being recalled. And these could be important because they could cause personal injury. This first one is tables sold online at Costco, Walmart, and Sam's recalled because they may collapse. Well, what do you think about that? It's on Penn Live Patriot News. And it was put out March 12th. They're those typical. I've seen them. There must be a problem with the latch. They're supposed to like kick in when you when you unfold them and they make a long like six foot by three foot table. Great for parties if you have room to do that sort of thing. Okay, it says here by Deb Kiner. Lifetime Products is the name of the company, has recalled 43,000 of its six-foot seminar tables because the brace arms may fail to lock the legs in place. It's such a small little thing. According to an announcement, with the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, the lock failure can cause the table to collapse. Imagine sitting around a table like that with a few, well, I don't know if they'd stick six women around a table like that now that COVID is around, but maybe four. And y'all have your plates full and your glass of water is full and then you chose another beverage and it's full and all of a sudden they come along and bring the the plate of hors d'oeuvres or whatever and blam <laughs> it goes down on your lap okay that would not be fun especially if you bought a new dress for the occasion <laughs> okay um Product details are this. Lifetime products, six-foot seminar tables, model number 80176. The tables have gray metal frames and white plastic tops and measure six feet long. 18 inches wide and 28 inches high. A green product ID sticker located on the underside of the table has the model number and the year and chronological day of manufacture in the first five digits. Example, June 23, 2020 equals 20. 175. Okay. I don't get that, but whatever. Followed by a two digit number for the factory. The recalled tables were manufactured between August 7, 2016, which is 16220, and June 23rd, 22. I mean, 2020, and it's 20175. Okay, y'all can read the rest. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. All right. This one is about shelving, and believe it or not, I was able to put together one of these. I hope it is not the same thing. For my friend down the hall, she, um, uh, I ordered it. We measured the space. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. I was beating that thing, the first layer, into place. There was a rubber. You know how there's like a, what do you call that thing, a baseboard? Well, ours are rubber. 
all around the bottom, even inside the, her closet. She has a much bigger closet than mine, but she has a bigger unit. Anyway, I failed to take into consideration that little bit of space that it eats up. So I was banging that bottom <laughs> shelf into place. And uh, I got two shelves up, and I said, I'm, I got to come back tomorrow. I think it was two days later. Anyway, millions of still shelving units we called because they may fail to support the weight indicated. I hope this is not the one I put up for her. Ed Saw Manufacturing has recalled 2.2 million heavy duty steel shelving units sold at Amazon. That's where we got it. Dot com and walmart.com because the shelves can fail to support the weight indicated on the packaging and I believe it was 50 pounds per shelf. I know somebody else who just bought shelving. I hope they didn't buy that much, uh, that particular product. This is also by Deb Kiner. Wasn't this one by Deb Kiner? Hold on a minute. That's not possible. Yes, it is. How could she work at Pen Live? Hold on a minute. This is P.A. Oh, well, whatever. It's the same name. D.K. Pen Live. Okay, so they're both Pen Live. All right. More than 2 million Edsel, E-D-S-A-L, manufacturing heavy-duty Steel shelving units have been recalled because they may not be able to hold the amount of weight stated on the label. Now, how am I going to get that thing apart? <laughs> get it boxed up. We threw the box away. Who holds on to all the boxes that things come in? I tried doing that. My closet got filled up with boxes. I had to throw them all away. I mean, seriously. They may not be able to hold the amount of weight stated on the label. According to the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, the Edsall 5-Tier Muscle Rack I don't recognize that name. It may not be the same one we bought. Unit shelves can fail to support the 800-pound weight load. Okay, hers was a 500. Whew, thank you, Jesus. As stated on the packaging, posing an injury hazard to the consumer. Or was it 250? It was 50, yeah. 50, 50, 50, 50, 250, so it is not that one. Thank you, Jesus. It's called a muscle rack. Okay, shelves can fail to support the 800-pound weight load as stated on the packaging, posing an injury hazard to the consumer. So if you bought a rack, that claims, you remember it claiming to hold 800, you better check it out and uh, take it apart and take it back. I, I mean, you got to mail it to Amazon.com, Staples.com, Walmart.com. That's where they were sold. 2,200,000 of them. It's a very popular item. And other retailers from January 2015 through September 2020 for between $80 and $90. Seriously, that's not a lot of money to hold 800 pounds. All right, they're gray or black. 
steel frames with five plywood shelves. Model numbers for units 72 inches tall, 18 inches deep, and 36 inches wide are CR3618 and CR3618 dash BLK model number for units 72 inches tall 24 inches deep and 48 inches wide are CR4824 and CR4824 dash BLK okay if you think you have that shoving unit you might want to read this and check it out with that, I'm going to say bye for now. Safety first. We don't want no youngins hurting this now. Pay attention to what you buy and what's being recalled. Okay, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.